Hey guys, it's Josh Price, and I'm here at Famous Birthdays to answer some questions, so let's get started. How do you overcome shyness or nervousness to dance? What I like to do is just breathe, honestly, because when you when you're going like straight into it, you don't really know like what you're going like what you're up to. So I just like to breathe and like take my time because it's a lot up here like to remember choreography and like execute it the way the choreographer would like you to. So it's just a lot of stress, but all you have to do is just breathe. That's what I do. And then just pray to God because you know, he's always there for you. <laughs> what's your favorite account? Oh, what's your favorite accounts to follow on Instagram? Just like the basics like hood clips or Daquan or like old funny Vine pages just because besides dance, I just like comedy. Or I guess Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart's always great to just watch on your free time because he's just a character. What inspired you to start dancing? Um, Michael Jackson, of course. He um, always played, uh, or my dad always played videos of him around the house. And I was just like, yo, I want to do that. And it, that was just, um, that was like the start of it, but I never really pursued it until I saw this show called America's Best Dance Crew on MTV. And there's this um, group, or this group called the Jabwalkies, and they were just like so amazing and like electric on the stage that I was just like, I have to at least try and see if I could do this. And then my mom took me to a studio called Icon in New Jersey, because that's where I'm originally from. And I just loved it, and that's where I'm here today. What has been your favorite dancing experience you've had so far? Um, there's two. So I've always wanted to dance with Chris Brown. And I did that in um, two videos which was a dream come true. But I think most memorable was when I danced for Mariah Carey at the White House and I got to meet Obama. And that was just like an amazing experience. That was like one of the best things that's ever happened in my life. So to answer your question, that's what it is. What advice would you give to someone that wants to pursue dancing? Um, I would say to take your time. Just take your time. There's no rush to be like, I just want to go straight to like moving to LA or wherever you're based at. Just take your time and learn as much knowledge as you can because you don't want to forget that in the long run because the foundation is what keeps you being like yourself. Like it's a foundation that you can build off of. You don't want to just start straight into like, all right, I'm going to just go straight into choreo. Like you want to build off of basic popping foundations and basic like just hip hop because that will hold you forever. What's your favorite TV show on Netflix? This is a great question. So I recently just started watching the show called Skin Wars. I don't know if anyone else does, but it's so fun to like just watch because I can't paint and just watching people like blend in to like backgrounds. Like they can be painted like from the couch all the way to the wall and they'll just stand there and then they'll like move. I think that's insane and I can't do that. So I just really, I'm really more intrigued because I can't do it, so yeah. Or Stranger Things, you know, just basics. Or any Kevin Hart movies because I just love Kevin Hart. But that wasn't a TV show, so I just keep going. What is your favorite style of dance? To do is hip hop and contemporary, but to watch is tap. Um, just because it's so, it's just really magical. Like the things people can do with their feet is insane. And that's one of my favorite styles that I just love to like listen to and just watch because it's just so beautiful. Or ballet, but ballet is like it's like too long for me. You know, I'm more of like a quick guy. So if I hear rhythm, I just feel like I can relate. That's really it. What food do you like to snack on? I'll say grapes. I think grapes. Yeah, grapes. But my favorite food is mac and cheese. But I like to eat grapes, like while I'm doing school, just because you know it keeps the blood pumping. I don't know for anyone else, but for me, I just be getting happy and I can stay awake. But that's really it. Next question. If you could be anyone in the world for one day, who would you be and why? Let's say I would like to be Black Panther. There we go. Just watched the movie. It was great. You know, I feel like if I could, if I could be someone, that'd be great, you know, because I want to change the world. I don't know if he really did change the world because he's like non-discreet, but that's just someone I would like to be, you know. I think that's a little stereotypical, but you know. I guess it's a little cliche. Besides dancing, what do you like to do in your spare time? I like to DJ. I don't know if people knew that. I have this like DJ equipment 
and I just love to just go because or um producing I just like music so I like to listen during school make beats I don't know if I want to be a producer I want to be more of a creative director but that's something that I just like to have in my bundle of who I am what artist would you love to choreograph a music video for Chris Brown because he can dance he's a great performer he's just great I just feel like if I could put my work on something, he would execute it to the highest potential. So that would be it. Do you have any upcoming projects? Yes, I do. I actually, this morning, I just booked a music video for Can't Say Who, but just be on the lookout for that. I think that's, oh no, I'm just, I started um, teaching more. So I'm gonna be teaching around the world coming up from the end of this year to 2019. So I'll be in Miami, China, New York. So I'm just going places. So hopefully I'll be in a city or country that you live in. And you know, if you see me just be like, hey yo, like I saw your famous birthdays Q&A. And I'd be like, that's great. And then I'll give you a hug. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure being here. And um, make sure to follow me on all my socials at Instagram is at official Josh Price. And that's all I really use. You know, you could use MySpace or Facebook, but you know, no one really uses that anymore. So, I'll see you guys later.